So what I am thinking, because episode 5 of Burning the Pages is a continuation of episode 4, we could focus less on the writing tips. Maybe we can't break the fourth wall a bit more. You know, just because it's shorter. So, no tips? I think Kendra's right. Okay. By the way, where is Payne? He is never late. I believe he said he was taking the interns on a field trip. He told me that too! I wanted to go, but he said I wasn't invited. Aw, oh, it's okay, buddy. Field trip? Where? He didn't quite specify. Which is weird, because I know everything that goes on here. He has been acting quite strange ever since the fangirl suicide, and that was years ago. Huh? <gasps> You mind filling us all in? I know of the Chibi fangirl, but I'm not quite sure what the relationship is. I'll explain since I've been here the longest. Pain has always been a control freak when it came to production. If the fangirl didn't want to review something, Pain would make her, regardless of the fangirl's wishes. There were some productions that he wanted her to do that she just... She just wasn't able to... Phil? It was that last damn review and... Review of what? The review of my TV show. It was... that bad. Oh my god. Are you okay, Lara? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm still just shaking up from what happened and... <laughs> Help. Bane handled the situation! What do you mean? Just days after Chibi Fangirl's suicide, the Edge Lord disappeared on her doorstep, and Payne thought it would be a great idea to continue production. And I'm partially to blame for that. So am I. I guess we were all in complete denial that the Fangirl has died. We just didn't have time to process what happened. We just wanted the show to go on. Damn. That's really fucked up. Uh, here I thought he had changed over the years. But he's still the same egomaniac as always. Wait, so you guys knew each other before coming on the show? Uh, yeah. Uh, Sakura, Bay and I all went to the same high school and university together. Bay and I used to be best friends since we were kids. But... When I started dating Sakura late in high school, Bain started to act a bit... odd. He wasn't thrilled about Itachi dating me because I was a preppy cheerleader. <laughs> he thought I was out of Itachi's league! But things really took a toll when we all went to CalArts. Bain had this genius idea that he was gonna be some sort of big-name director. And his short films were a bit... um... Shocking. That's putting it lightly. They were misogynist and gross. So, after a year of going to college together, Itachi and I had decided we had enough of Payne's bullshit, and we left for New York to pursue our dreams elsewhere. Then after a couple years, I went through the spiritual phase and forgave Payne for all the things he did to me and Sakura. And the two of us came back to work on this production. Only to find out he's still the same shit face he always was. What do you think we should do? We can't just fire him. He is our boss. True, but we don't have to listen to him either. You know how he gets when someone goes against his orders. Also true, but I know a way around Payne's rules. Oh? What are you? Hello? We're back! Hey guys! Sorry we are so late, but I have great news! And that is... The three of us had met with some of your family, and we had a great conversation over breakfast. We talked about every- Wait, how do you know about my family? You never met them. I haven't spoken to them in months. Your Facebook page? Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, Payne, please continue. We met with your Aunt Beth, and she gave us these episodes of Elite Sinshi that were never published. It clears up all the plot holes, it explains the magical court. There is even a flying car in one episode! Oh 
my god, I remember these. <laughs> Whenever I'd visit my Aunt Beth, I would use her computer to write Elite Senshi episodes. I never finished them, but I can't believe she kept them for this long. Which is why I want you to put episodes 4 and 5 on hold. Instead, I want you to review one of these lost episodes. No thanks. What do you mean, no thanks? Episode 4 has already finished production. In another few minutes, it will be live on Daily Motion. Not only that, these episodes are extremely uncomfortable for me to read out loud. They're very sexual and violent, and racist and misogynistic. We aren't reviewing these. End of story. Let's do a vote, then. Who thinks we should work on the lost episodes? Nope. I'll pass. Uh-uh. Veto. Denied. It's a no from me, too. Well, I guess the interns will be doing all the work. Um... Actually, I don't feel comfortable working on those episodes either. What the hell? I can't just fire everyone! Then we have no production team! I have an idea. We put up episode 4 as planned and start working on the lost episodes over the summer. I have a few friends who are looking for a new internship. Oh, Regina, you are a genius. I'm glad you're such a creative thinker. It's what I do. <laughs> hey, Danny. Can you do something for me? Sure. What is it? I want you to make these lost episodes public. It says, please don't publish these in big red letters. And I'm telling you to publish them. I don't feel comfortable with that pain. <laughs> well then. You're fired. There is no point in keeping you around if you disobey me. You're a monster, Pain! Mom, Pain is more ruthless than ever. I always thought he was a bit mean, but now I realize how evil he is. I miss you. I miss my siblings too. I hate what this has become. I just. I just want to be happy again. Aw, did poor Danny have a rough day at the office? Fuck you. A child like you shouldn't even be here. I'm surprised you were working on this production. <laughs> How old are you again? Eight? I'm 14. I stayed on this production after my mom's death because I love video editing. And if she was still around... She would never let this happen. Oh, Danny, I may not know Chibi Fangirl personally, but from what I saw in her videos, she was wrapped around Payne's finger. She would obey anything he would tell her. No, you don't know her! My mother was creative and followed her own agenda. She didn't follow Payne's rules at all. She would take them and smash them on their- Explain the review that was never made. <laughs> Later, loser. Why don't you go hang out with people your own age? Regina, don't forget. Hmm? Ah! I'm a fucking power puff girl. You don't want to mess with me. That was just a warning, but next time, I won't be as kind. <laughs> Oh my god! That girl has powers? 